good morning students in the previous video i discussed about uh, human rights awareness and what role nhrc is playing in creating awareness about human rights uh, in the end of the previous video we just uh, we just discussed about human right education in schools so the next uh, thing which we are going to discuss is about human right education in universities various working groups have been set up to coordinate and monitor the matters related to human right education at university level university grant commission that is ugc the, uh, it has also framed a standing committee on human rights and this committee prepare uh, an approach paper to identify need for basic courses for students of all discipline that uh, what kind of uh, paper or basic course could be introduced in various disciplines across various universities so that uh, the knowledge of human rights could be given to these students then uh, this approach paper suggest introduction of diploma and certificate courses for various target groups this could also be an option that uh, if somebody wants to do proper diploma or certificate courses in human rights that is also possible then finally this approach paper emphasize the need for research extension education and field action projects in the area of human rights then the third step is ugc also formulated a scheme to provide financial assistance for organizing seminars workshops symposiums in colleges and universities which are related to human rights topic then um, they also provide financial assistance for conducting various certificate diploma or degree courses in human rights then ugc framed a curriculum development committee under the chairmanship of a member of nhrc to frame curriculum for course on human right at certificate diploma and degree level because uh, all of them are uh, three different kinds of uh, courses and are focused on different needs and target groups so obviously this should have different curriculum also so that curriculum will be decided by the curriculum development committee under the chairmanship of a member of nhrc then today most of the universities in country have introduced certificate diploma or degree courses at undergraduate as well as postgraduate level in the field of human rights so the uh, next point which we are going to discuss is about national institute of human rights which was established uh, in 1999 by nhrc and uh, it is at the national law school of india university bangalore this was an effort to establish a center of excellence for human right education during the un decade for human right education which was from 1995 to 2004 during that tenure this uh, institute was established at the national law school of india university then australian high commission uh, sanctioned a project to nihr the national institute of uh, human rights to develop and strengthen domestic infrastructure to promote and protect human rights this project was about uh, developing and strengthening the infrastructure in our country so as to promote and protect uh, protect human rights then the next step in human right awareness is publication of various uh, types then films and websites which provide information about human rights nhrc has released several publication these publications are uh, some of them are priced and some of them are free of cost on various subjects related to human rights the commission has published a collection of eight booklets under know your rights series this series has been translated into several regional languages other than english and hindi so that various uh, regional language people could also use these booklets so these booklets are about the rights a person should know it publishes a monthly newsletter in english and hindi both it publishes annual journal and annual reports in english and hindi and a uh, and a year calendar so annual reports uh, we have discussed in the functioning of nhrc also so along with the annual report they publish annual journal also and year calendar also the human right manual for district magistrates is another important publication uh, which is specially designed for a target group which is district magistrates so that they can use that manual for various cases it has produced short duration films in five the on five themes these uh, five themes are like nhrc and its working then sexual harassment of women at workplace then manuel scavenging bonded labor 
trafficking in human uh, sorry in women and children so these are the five themes on which various short films have been made all of uh, these these four last four points uh, covered the major violations of human rights then lot of information is available on the website of nhrc also then the fifth step is internship programs nhrc has developed various internship programs also so that students can have a practical exposure in the field of human rights with an objective to spread awareness of human right issues among universities and colleges um, nhrc conduct summer and winter internship programs both so during this internship the students are educated about the working of the commission that how nhrc functions their main institutions and international instruments which are related to human rights then the students are sensitized towards the activities of commission what kind of activities commission conduct and what is the importance of these activities and human right values they are given an opportunity to interact with the chairperson the members of nhrc senior officers of nhrc major ngos who are involved in um, functioning related to human rights and international organizations working in the area of human rights during their internship they are taken for field visits to jails and projects run by ngos and are assigned project work also so that they can have a practical exposure then nhrc run training program for young people in all the districts in collaboration with nehru yuva kendra so this is how nhrc play role in internship programs as well then the next method is human right education for police and security forces as we discussed in previous video also sensitization towards human right is required and for that the uh, authority the administration the people who are involved into the protection of people uh, their rights they should be sensitized they should be trained about the human rights and its importance so in this also nhrc plays a major role nhrc proposes training of police personnel and the security forces whether it is bsf or crpf on human rights so that they learn to respect human rights the chairperson members and senior officers of officers of nhrc visit police training institutes to deliver lectures and other training institutes for security forces across the country then nhrc framed a three tier model of training in collaboration with dgps for constable sub inspectors and inspectors dsps and other senior officers so uh, according to the level or the designation of the uh, officials they have designed different kind of training modules this has been circulated to all states for implementation the national police academy of the country has included human rights in their curriculum this subject this course is completely uh, taught to them in the academy then human right education is also included in training courses for paramilitary and armed forces at the request of nhrc then nhrc in collaboration with ignu that is indira gandhi national open university developed an online training program on human rights for police personnel so that they can access those training programs at their places then nhrc in collaboration with british council initiated two projects first project was human right investigation and interviewing skills how uh, investigation or interviews can be conducted in matters of human rights then improving custodial management how this could be improved uh, that is the process or the style of working by a person while an accused is taken into custody so this is dealt in improving custodial management so that was all about the uh, human right education for police and security forces then the next is human right training for civil servants and judiciary other than police and security forces civil servants and judiciary officials are also involved in human right protection so they must also be trained for that nhrc proposed training program for civil servants to sensitize them for human rights so that they can handle human right challenges in their work so that they can deal the uh, cases in perfect manner then academies for imparting training to civil servants have included subject of human rights in their curriculum so this subject has been taught to them in various academies where the training to civil servants has been provided under australian human right fund small grant scheme a project was started for the judiciary this project con uh, consisted of the following specially uh, a program a training program was started for people belonging to judiciary so first was foundation course on human rights for newly appointed judges so that they can uh, come to know about various human rights 
and laws related to that. Then refresher course for session judges already in position and then the preparation and printing of a handbook on human rights for judicial officers. officers. So this was uh, the three step process which was uh, done in the scheme which was funded by Australian Human Rights Fund. Right. So this was uh, about the training of civil servants and judiciary. Then training division in HRC and HRC has a separate training division uh, in their organization which was created in 2003 with the aim to sensitize officials and institutions on human right protection and promotion. So various trainings are given at their campus also. This training division is collaborated with various international organizations, national and state level institutes, law universities and NGOs for imparting training on different human right issues. So it is not only the training division which uh, provide training, they collaborate with other institutes, universities, NGOs for imparting training in such matters. Then is media collaboration. NHRC presents several radio and TV spots on human rights issues so that uh, the message, the information could be transferred to masses. Then the chairperson, members and senior officers of NHRC regularly participate in talk shows on human rights issues on television and radio. Again, to solve various kind of problems which generally people face and so that they can get help from their uh, expert talks. Then it helps in telecasting various programs on human rights education through TV and radio. And finally, NHRC posts social messages on human rights through media to create human right awareness among the masses. So this is how NHRC along with media collaboration helps in uh, disseminating the information to the masses. Now, uh, facilitating assessment of enforcement of human rights program. NHRC conduct this program in all districts of the country. So that assessment of various human rights program can be done. Through this program, backward districts were identified on the basis of following variables. They identified various backward districts on the basis of rate of literacy, uh, sorry, rate of illiteracy, percentage of SC and ST population and rate of infant mortality. Mortality is the death rate where the infant mortality is high, it means that is a backward area. Primary objective of the program was to spread awareness among people about human rights issues like food, education, justice, health, hygiene, sanitation. So these kind of issues were uh, taught or that kind of awareness is created by NHRC in the backward areas. Field visits were conducted by the members or officers of NHRC to assess real human rights situation. That is, they used to go to the uh, villages, backward areas where the situation is very backward in terms of the progress and they actually assess their real human rights situation that is what kind of human rights uh, they are getting or uh, what kind of awareness they have this kind of real judgment or assessment is done at the field by the members or officers of NHRC. Then one day workshops are organized in all districts to educate people about their rights and to monitor the implementation of recommendation issued by the commission. So finally the last step in that program was conducting one day workshops for uh, these kind of people who are less aware in all the districts so that they could know about their rights and they could monitor the uh, implementation of their rights and recommendations of the commission. So that's all about uh, this chapter or we could say with this subject human rights and values. So if you have any doubt you can ask questions in the comment section. That's all about the human rights labels. Have a good day.